All right, good morning, everyone. It is our right, Black Paws back here with you. We are going back into Alan Wake. Last time we were at Hartman's. But it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't my know. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Ha ha! Na! Ha ha! It's my storm! I'm taking it! Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a well, love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. It's time to pay the piper. Maybe you could come out and pay our wrinkled adult diapered asses for it. Take your dope off first. We were on the road. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Ellen doesn't really sleep. And the work? Well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say... I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you, looking out from behind your eyes, and I don't like that guy much, and now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. I'm letting this Always play so that you can get else. some story here. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him, and we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here, even when he's home. Please help me, doctor, because I am at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to sweat! Seriously! Barry? Do you have... Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. And there's the manuscript, along with the revolver.
Remember, we have no audio on the cutscenes because of copyrighted music, so I shut the music down completely. And the Dark Presence got him. And he's a little happy about that. to find a way out. Shelves out of my way. Okay. I guess I go upstairs to get the light. Yes. Oh, maybe so. There we go. There's some light. One more time! Get all of these possessed things out of my life. Let's go quickly. Oh, that was so stupid. Okay, I'm just gonna cut through. Okay, now what? Uh huh? It, this. Oh, there we go. Pick up flare.
I am out of here. Um, manuscript page? Yes, please. Give, no, no manuscript. Okay. Barry. I found the oh. car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Take the flashlight. Oh, God! Yep. Look at the house, Al! Look out! <laughs> the hedge maze. Over here. I am probably going to die. There we go. Goodbye. Proceed through the garden. <sighs> Al, hurry up! I can hear those evil guys moving around. <sighs> yeah, I can't move too fast, Bear. Weapon. Okay. Manuscript page. Like I said, I'm not trying to 100% the game. I'm really not. Yeah, kind of figured that out on my own, Bear. Again, with the owing. Crap. Okay. I had to deal with these guys. Crap, I'm in a dead end. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um, so flares, batteries. Oh. Not fun. Not fun at all. I'm gonna try going left this time. Oh, dead end. Okay. And there will be taken. Al, hurry up! I can hear those evil guys moving around! I know there's more. Okay, let's go this 
way. Dead end, as expected. Emil Hartman. For those of you who don't maybe haven't been paying attention. Okay, I could use a little more ammo. So I'm kind of burning through some. There we go. Thank you very kindly. Okay, we got the big boy who's going to come. Yeah, okay. Come on. Right here for you. Where's big boy? Where you at big boy? Okay, dead end there. No big boy. that. Gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna recover. Oh, I know that's gonna risk uh, having the dark presence get a little closer, but okay, dead end. No, not dead end. Manuscript page. Give. Thank you. Okay. Not a lot of ammo left, and no flares either. That sounds like Birch. That doesn't sound good. It says revolver ammo. Good. Needed that. Probably level you get two barrels in the morning and then you'll be nice and calm all day long. Yeah, that sounds like Birch. <coughs> yep. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to beeline for the gazebo, get the flares, drop them very quickly. You get two barrels in the morning and then 
You'll be nice and calm all day long. That's not me. And there's Birch. I take care of the birds or I deal with birch. Right now, both of those are losing propositions. No, you do not get to get that close to me, sir. I don't know you, we ain't friends. Move, Alan! Ow! I got dinked by crows. I'm going to go ahead and pause here, because uh, the fight's a little frustrating. I can try to take out the birds, but that leaves me vulnerable to birch. If I focus on birch, I'm vulnerable to the birds. And then it, you saw at the very end, there's more taken. So <coughs> it's kind of like... I don't fully know which to focus on. Obviously, you want to focus on Birch because he's the big bad. You take him down, you get rid of everything else. But everything else is whittling away your health, so you know that's kind of a challenge. Anyway, I am going to wrap up here. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. Please remember the schedule is foobarred, so tomorrow I will be back for Darkness Falls, Episode 3. So... Until next time, please remember, be safe, be well, stay strong, stay healthy, both physically and mentally, because there are a lot of people out there, <coughs> including myself, who are having issues right now, hopefully not health-related issues. Please be good to each other. Please do the best you can for each other. Please stop the hate. I'll see you folks tomorrow for Episode 3 of Darkness Falls, where it, we're going to be questing and exploring, I guess. Bye, everyone.